and thus Newton's third law will go, just go for the law of conservation of momentum. Law of conservation of momentum. Munda alivin my unda alivin my vidi. Law of conservation of momentum is unda alivin my vidi. Law of conservation of momentum. We know that momentum, principle of impulse and momentum path. And what we are seeing in the principle of impulse and momentum, J is equal to mv minus mu. When an object moves with an acceleration u, a, with the initial velocity u and final velocity v, when there is no external force acting on it, that is J is equal to 0. What happens when there is no impulsive force or no force acting on it, J will become 0. Huh? Upon the minus in the side, when the plus side, huh? I can write this mv is equal to mu. That is, when no force or no impulsive force acts on an object, I can say final momentum is equal to initial momentum. Ah, the total momentum remains to be the same in a system. That we call as a law of conservation of momentum. Either proof or a poro or chinna example of it. So, what we are going to see here, we are going to prove that when no forces act on, acting on a system, I can say the total momentum remains to be the same. Total momentum means momentum before. Ah, momentum, final momentum is equal to initial momentum. Now, for this example, I will take two balls or two objects. For example, A and B. Let the masses of the two objects be M1 and M2. Let their initial velocities be U1 and U2. They are traveling in the same direction. And then they may have a direction travel. Either A and B with masses M1 and M2. If I consider this velocity u1 is greater than u2, then we will collide. If like u2 velocity is greater than the part of the ball move, it will be collision and collision. Now, before collision, I am just assuming like this. Then we will collide. If we collide, on the way, these two objects, A and B, they will have this mass difference. But after collision, they will move with the different velocities. Let that be v1 and v2. This is after collusion. Before collusion, velocities are u1 and u2 and after collusion, they are moving in the same direction with the different velocities v1 and v2. Now, I want to find out what is the force acted on this object A by A. A when the B mal level of force exert panadu. Similarly, B how much force is it is exerting on A. So, we know that by Newton's second law, F is equal to M and M A. What is F1 here? Force exerted by A on B. So, I am considering let F1 be the force exerted by A on B. According to Newton's second law, F is equal to in the force either will exert in the object B. Object B would be mass level M2. Velocity U2. Up yeah. here M2. But acceleration in a I will take the acceleration as A2. Okay. Acceleration formula in acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. Change in velocity by time taken. Final minus initial velocity by time taken. A2 in both. What is A2 here? V2. Object B would be final velocity is V2. Initial velocity is U2. Let T be the time taken for the object when they collide. So, here V2 minus U2 by T. So, F1 is equal to M2 into V2 minus U2 by T. Similarly, I can also write what is the force exerted by the object B. B when the A mal level of force exert panadhe, that is F2. F2 is by B on A. It is given by M1 A1 is equal to M1 into V1 minus U1 by T. So, random is separate a calculate panito. Force F1 evlo, F2 evlo. By Newton's third law. Now, can you say which is action force and which is reaction force? A when the B mal act panadhe, force action force. In turn, B will act the similar force on A. Yavla force A apply pannu, the other force B or the mal apply pannu. So, these two forces, F1 is the action force and F2 is the reaction force. Yana A apply pannu, the action force. In turn, B will apply force on the object A. So, in the render force, according to Newton's third law, they will be equal in magnitude, but they will act in opposite direction. So, according to Newton's third law, those two forces F1 and F2 they will be equal in magnitude but they will act in opposite direction. The negative sign indicates they are acting in 
opposite direction. Substitute pannu lama ipa, yadu, the f1, f2 value apde substitute pannu. So what happens if you substitute the values of f1 and f2? Now, f1 is m2 into v2 minus u2 by t equal to m1 into v1 minus u1 by t. t, t gets cancelled. Take this m2 inside. So m2 v2 minus half. The negative sign you value put. Minus m2 v2 minus m2 u2 equal to minus half m1 v1 minus m1 u1. So negative will look at it will become m2 v2 minus m2 u2 equal to minus m1 v1 plus m1 u1. Now you bring all the one this side. In m2 v2 irukka, in minus m1 v1 irukka. If I bring this side it will become plus. So m2 v2 plus in the minus m1 v1 in this side kondo the past v1 equal to m1 u1 minus m2 u2 on this side pochna plus m2 u2. Now here we know the moment of product of mass into velocity. Either in the way, say object b would be a final velocity. v1 now object a would be a final velocity. So I can write this as momentum of the object momentum of the object final momentum b plus momentum of the object a is equal to Momentum of the object A plus momentum of the object B. And I did this and all for final momentum. Final velocity then put V1, V2. This is the U1, U2 under the initial velocity, upper initial momentum. Now I can say the total final momentum is equal to total initial momentum. So before and after the momentum remains to be the same. Since we have proved that by law of conservation of momentum, what we are seeing here, the total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. So this by this we have proved this law of conservation of momentum. That is when no external forces are acting on a system, I can prove that this total momentum before and after remains to be the same.